Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion. Now before you skip to the intro, just a sec I have uh, something to like say. Uh, that is like uh, I did a poll uh, where like I there were like these animals that I'm going to do. Uh, and Neon Genesis Evangelion and Avatar were at a tie. So because Neon Genesis Evangelion has a lot less uh, episodes than Avatar. I think so. Uh, so I decided to uh, do Neon Genesis Evangelion first. So like I'll be doing two episodes per week on this day. Uh, every week I'll do it. And uh, like by the calculations, I think uh, three and a half months will take for Neon Genesis Evangelion for me to re react to each and every episode. And uh, after that, I plan on doing Avatar. So like if you are like uh, if you are like waiting for my avatar reaction I'm sorry just a little like wait a bit longer like three more months and after Evangelion ends I'll be starting avatar So yeah, that's it. That's the only thing that I wanted to say So <laughs> you can skip to the intro if you want to or you can like listen to my introduction So anyways, so welcome guys. Uh, this is the first episode of uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion uh, This is one of the uh, like most popular animes and uh, one of the classics which obviously after like so many years of uh, like watching anime I still have not watched so here it is so uh, after like watching this I can finally say that yeah I am an uh, like a veteran anime watcher I guess <laughs> because this was the only thing that I have not watched so yeah like I'm going to react to it and um, like obviously Neon Genesis Evangelion um, it is like I'll, I'll be doing like two episodes uh, every week uh so like uh this will be like a two episode uh, thing and um if you are new to my channel uh like welcome and like uh i like this is one thing that i'm always like telling everyone so i'll like tell this in the beginning as well that is i do timer reactions like my videos are intended for timer reactions not like only watching it like i only like put uh, a little bit of a like a video and like it is like inverted blurs all of these things are done for copyright reasons because if i don't do that and if i like uh, like if i let in any sound then the copyright bots will detect my video and it will get like blocked and worse comes to worse if it might like my channel might get terminated if they like strike my channel so to avoid all that uh, like i usually intend my videos to be timer reactions so uh, like please be sure to um, like play the original video alongside mine and sync it to the timer so yeah so anyways guys uh, so let's get started without any like uh, wa like wastage of time I have no idea what this is about I only know uh, the main characters obviously because uh, they are so damn popular like uh, I think uh, Shinji what was the girl's name Asuka yeah Asuka is like I think the uh, one of the first Sundres to ever like grace this planet I'm guessing I don't know actually but uh, a lot of people say that Asuka is like the first Sundre to ever exist so uh, me uh, as a big fan of Sundres I'm looking forward to it because obviously I've heard a lot of people kind of badmouth Asuka uh, obviously a lot of people like does not like Sundres because of their like um like you get it like if, if, because of their personality so but I digress and I really like I love Sundres like Taiga like Isaka Taiga was one of my uh, like first Sundres that I've ever like watched and like I really loved like Tora Dora then came in like Shakugan no Shana and uh, Zero no Sukaima all of those three classic Sundres the three big classic Sundres that is Luis Taiga and um, Shana so after that like Sundres like became one of my favorite things and obviously Tosaka Rin, uh, Fate Stay Nights nice, is another one of the like uh, most popular Sundres. So yeah, let's see what, like how I like whether I like Asuka or not. So and uh, there's also another thing I've heard a lot is like people usually, usually do not like uh, Shinji. I really don't know why. Like I've seen a lot of people kind of not like Shinji. So let's see. I am extremely tolerant towards anime characters. So let's see if Shinji manages to if Shinji manages to piss me off as well then I'll have to say like <laughs> I don't know like I, I'm usually calm towards all of the anime characters I really do not like judge any of them so it's pretty difficult for me to like uh, like make me angry towards an anime character so let's see anyways uh, enough talking so without further ado let's get started with um, Neon Genesis Evangelion uh, episode 1 all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here 
Link to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Ah, this is another one of the most popular like openings. Everyone has heard it. Like any anime fan, if you like tell them about like Cruel Angel's thesis, they will obviously understand what you're talking about. Also, another thing I have to mention, I usually do not watch mecha anime. Like, I, I do not like, uh, like mecha, uh, like I have to say. But obviously, like, uh, I've heard that uh, Evangelion and uh, obviously Code Geass is another one of the most popular uh, mecha animes. So, like I'll, I'll, like, I'll have to watch this. Like, I myself do not like, like mechas, but still, if the story is amazing, like, I, I can watch anything. I've heard a lot of, like, good things about this anime. Like, this is extremely, like, I don't know, uh, like, what, psychological, I think, this aspect of this anime is extremely large, I think. So... Let's see what this is about. I love some psychological stuff, so... Okay, let's see. 2015. Alright. Anime is pretty old. I think it's in 1992 or 3. I'm not sure. or Something along that. Okay. Special state of emergency. Find shelters emitted. Okay. Well. Okay, so Okay, that's the main character, Shinji Ikari, okay. Okay. So, to Shinji, who, who's, I did not. Oh. Okay. Damn, what's happening? What the? Oh, what the hell is that? Move. Wait, it's it. It's fifteen years. Angel? Angel attack. Oh, is this some kind of, uh, like, zombie kind of thing? Like, this kind of, like, huge monsters, like, roam around the earth or something like that? Oh, wow, this angel or whatever is shooting out beams. Damn, it can fly? What the hell? Okay, oh. Um, that's a weird type of a creature, like. Oh, oh, okay. Damn. Atsugi and Iroma. Well, you destroyed your pen, that's... <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? 
Wow, this is something else completely. ET field. Okay. So these are called angels. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting name to give to a N2. Oh! Damn. Okay, well, um, they completely obliterated up the whole place. Okay. What? Where? Oh. Katsuragi Misato, okay. Hmm. I doubt it. Like, usually things don't go so easily, <laughs> especially in anime. Obviously, like, that's a huge thing. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Thirty three. Oh. What? Wait. Oh, okay, he see. All right. Um Wow, this guy is pretty um brazen. <laughs> like he he tells everything that comes in his mouth or something. Oh. And there we go. Hmm. N E R V. Nerf. Okay. Okay. Uh. Protection of the human race. Oh, this is his dad. Oh. All right, so Unit 1.
another spare okay so wow that's uh Oh, that's, I think that's a manual or something. Yeah, this guy seems to have like problems with his father. Oh. Geo front. Okay. Hmm. Angel attack. Okay. Oh yeah, that was the title. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Akage, uh, Risco, she was talking about Risco. Oh, this is uh, Risco, I'm guessing? Yeah. Hmm. Hard child. Hmm. Okay. You call him the third child or something. Graduation. Oh, that's quite low. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh, what? There's some weird things in this, like, especially weird structures. Oh. Oh, some kind of top secret? Okay, that's the Evangelion. Trump card. Oh, there is his dad. Ray. Oh, boy, I'm trying. Okay, so they're talking about Shinji. All right. So, like, I'm more surprised at the fact that they called him a spare. Like an object or something. Ok 
Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing for this pilot. Yeah. Oh boy, well, this is one of those deaths, okay. Oh boy, the angel is attacking again. I'm guessing he also has some kind of an inkling like why his dad asked him f here hmm Ray A spare, okay, here we go again, the spare. Hmm. Oh. Wait. Okay, so this is Ray. Like, obviously, she's also one of the like most popular characters. I did not know her name. I only know a new new Asuka. Uh, Asuka. Damn, she has to write the like Evangelion in that state. Oh, what the? Oh wait. Wait, no one is inside the Evangelion, so... Okay, so... Yeah. Damn, she is extremely injured. Obviously, she cannot. Oh my god, she's even bleeding. Well, Shinji has to get in. Okay. Hmm. Okay, something's happening, which I don't know what. Oh, Shinji was inside that thing, wasn't he? Or not? Oh! Is this some kind of, uh... Oh. Um, oh, okay, I guess. <laughs> wow, damn, this is quite fancy. Is 
Is that something quite large? Like umbilical bridge, okay. Wow, a lot of preparations they have to do. Okay. Okay. That's a creepy smile. Hmm. Oh, that's Angel. Okay, so he will have to fight this angel and he barely knows how to move this thing okay this will go all fine i'm guessing <laughs> i'm not sure how but oh to be continued okay i've never heard the ending song like the opening song is so popular but like i've never heard the ending song so Hmm. No, it's a nice song. All right, so that was uh, the first episode of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Now, um, obviously, there's a lot of questions because this is the first episode, and like. There's like these angel kind of things. <laughs> okay. That's the end. Okay, so, okay, I'll talk a little bit, then I'll like start the second episode. So, yeah, uh, in this episode, we saw like these huge uh, monsters. I don't know what they are, but they call like uh, all of them called them angels. I don't know why they gave them that name because like I doubt angels look like, like that, but. All right, angels, but um, these things are like, um, like you know, this kind of a thing where like there's this kind of a setting always like uh, nowadays, like this setting that uh, like zombie outbreak, that kind of thing. Like uh, they're like this kind of zombies who like uh, roam around outside and like people have to survive. It's kind of the same thing, but obviously uh, th like the zombies are replaced by these huge angels and I'm guessing people live outside but uh, whenever like these angels uh, like start to like like attacking I'm guessing like comes into like everyone's uh, like in front of everyone uh, people kind of evacuate because I, I think in the uh, beginning of the episode there was some kind of like things going on where like they said that evacuation or something like people evacuated like the even the cars and everything were like left in the road I'm guessing people like left the car and just ran out, like outside and maybe in some kind of shelter I'm guessing like they took uh, um, like a refugee in that some kind of shelter because usually in these type of uh, settings there's usually this kind of an underground shelter that is always there where like people kind of go and take shelter for uh, the time being unless and until the Thing that is outside roaming around is like destroyed 
So I'm guessing it's something like that because obviously also the trains and everything were like stopped because of the sudden invasion of that angel I'm guessing and uh, this guy Shinji uh, Ikari I think his name was uh, he was called uh, by his dad obviously he's like, uh, like from like everything we gathered uh, we saw that Shinji does does not um, get along with his dad that's obvious and there was like a little bit of flashback where he was left outside I'm guessing crying and probably we'll get to see that later on in the future episodes and his dad like called him here just so that he can pilot the Evangelion and destroy the angels I'm guessing and yeah that's the only thing that he wanted so that's why like Shinji kind of uh, got angry said that uh, like you said you didn't need me so why have you called me here and his dad uh, like kind of like shouted back at him <laughs> and said that if you like if you don't want to do just leave or, like I don't care like something like that so <laughs> I don't know what to say like his dad seems a pleasant character and Shinji seems uh, someone who has been like has this kind of uh, like uh, co not complex but a thing with his dad like a bad relationship with his dad so yeah but obviously after like seeing uh, 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 I think that girl's name was Ray Ray's uh, condition he decided to like go like pilot it because obviously Ray was almost like dying like she was in a stretcher uh, he was, she was bandaged and everything and like, like uh, obviously Shinji like after seeing that decided to like get in the pilot and I'm I'm I don't know like I think this is all this is also some kind of his dad's plan like his dad said that uh, like call Ray and like brought her in that condition in front of Shinji I think maybe she, like he did that purposefully so that Shinji like after looking at Ray in a condition like that uh, feels sorry for her and gets in the pilot himself like becomes the pilot himself because obviously like his dad's target was getting Shinji uh, inside that uh, uh, robot that Evangelion and pilot it so like uh, I'm guessing uh, like to do that he had to like like do that kind of thing like bring Rei in front of Shinji so that Shinji himself feels sorry for her and gets it so yeah that's a pretty um uh, like cunning way to make your son do things okay um <laughs> and Okay, one thing, I did not like notice, like like I was unable to like catch this before, but when Shinji took out the photo of Misato, uh, let's see what, to Shinji, I'll be coming to get you, so wait for me, attention here please. Okay, there's nothing written here. I thought maybe there was some, like her name or something was written, but uh, turns out there's nothing written. Oh, wait a minute. To Shinji, I'll be coming to see you. So wait for me. Attention here, please. And there's this arrow on his on her cleavage. Okay. Well. And there's like a lipstick mark as well. That's a weird way to um send postcards. <laughs> Anyways, um. All right. So uh, we made a few characters in this episode. Uh, Misato, Shinji. Shinji's dad, uh, the doctor, what was her name? I forgot her name, the uh, like white lab coat wearing doctor with the blonde hair. Her, uh, Ray. Th these are the few characters we got to know in this episode. And obviously, um, uh, and also like I like already like knew Ray's face. Like she's also one of the like one of the most popular characters. Like Misato, uh, Ray, uh, Asuka, Shinji. Uh, like these four were the characters that I knew from Evangelion, like uh, their face, and the two, uh, the two of them's names that I knew that was Shinji's name and Asuka's name. I did not know Misato's name, and I did not know Rei's name. But they were they're also like extremely popular, obviously. And uh, I knew nothing about the whole thing. The only thing I knew about these characters was Asu like Asuka was one of the first Sundres to ever exist, and Shinji like people kind of call Shinji uh, like annoying i think in a lot of like i heard a lot of people like all shinji annoying i don't know why uh, as far as the first episode goes uh, he kind of whined a little bit but that's nothing like so 
like there's nothing uh, that was not too much like the, obviously like if your dad calls you somewhere and just forces you to get into uh, a robot to pilot it without even like um giving any damn about how you like like whether you will live or you'll die like yeah I'd, I'd also be a pretty pissed so i think that's pretty normal so let's see uh what like this is all about in the future episodes so yeah and like he got in came outside and now he's facing the angel without even knowing how to fight and i really like one thing in this episode which is the like introduction of that robot like uh there was this kind of a fluid that he was uh submerged into uh which like provides oxygen to your bloodstream i'm guessing and the way the like uh robot was prepared um that was extremely like detailed and i liked that quite a bit and yeah let's see how the next episode goes so so uh, anyways guys um that was the first episode of neon genesis evangelion so without further ado we'll start the second episode of um neon genesis evangelion so as always i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here link it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown of the second episode three two one go okay so just like the cruel angel young boy become a legend so this angel means that angel i'm guessing and that's also like the reason why i'm guessing the name of this song is cruel angels thesis i'm guessing that was the name yeah also another thing i meant like uh, like noticed in the previous episode the voice acting is extremely um i think natural like nowadays like an anime characters kind of uh sound like this like uh like um like bakayaro uh, or like uh kisama uh nani mono da like this and <laughs> like extremely um passionate voice acting but in this uh, episode like in the previous episode the voice acting felt a lot natural as if how like normal people talk with each other like nowadays animals are extremely like um like the voice acting is extremely hard blooded but uh, it feels like a lot natural the voice acting like i've seen a lot of like japanese people talk with each other it's nothing like an anime like that's not how people talk so this feels a lot like that like how normal people talk with each other all right yeah he doesn't even know how to walk like how is he going to fight like Oh so this is a pretty like I'm guessing previously this like Evangelion didn't even walk proper oh oh no okay how how will get up that's a huge thing oh 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 Oh, is if Oh no. Oh. Wait, how how can you do Oh my god. Damn. Oh, what the? Oh, I'm guessing that was that fluid. I, I was thinking, how that? How is it bleeding? That was not blood. That was that fluid. Oh. 
Okay, what's happening here? Um, what is this, a hospital? Unfamiliar ceiling, and that's the name of the episode? Oh, did he fail? Oh, I think he failed. So, okay, so the angel went away. Um Okay, there's not letting everyone know. Oh. Human instrumentality. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is a weird, like, section, like, kind of white. Okay, so, the angel just went away like that? Mental comment. Okay. Cranial lumps took a lot of strain. <laughs> yeah, he's like thinking as if like his own arm got ripped off. Like obviously, like if you are like moving something and the thing also moves. It's feeling as if like he's moving his own hand. So suddenly if that hand is like torn off, obviously you're going to feel weird. Hmm. Okay. First cranial nerve. Hmm. Misato, I'm guessing.
Oh, daddy is here. Uh, hi, dad. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, obviously, he like. Like his dad didn't seem like 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 want to like live with Shinji. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, that was a weird joke, all right. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, people are also like freaking out about the whole thing. Okay, so hmm. All right. Okay, this is a good place. Uh, view. Oh, what's happening? Oh, are these like other robots? Are there other robots as well? No, what are these? Oh, these are buildings. Oh, wait. Is this how they like, uh, like the buildings itself go underground when there's an emergency? Or not. Okay. New Tokyo 3. Okay, so these buildings get inside whenever, like, there's an emergency, like angels attack or something. And then, after everything, like, it's okay, it comes out again. Okay, that's quite unique. I've never seen something like this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm back then. Tadaima. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, this is a dump! What the hell is this? What the hell is the fridge? I can only see like... Oh, damn. What? What's sleeping? Do you keep something in that fridge? Okay, I'm quite curious as to what is sleeping there. Hmm.
哦。Okay, so what do you eat? <laughs> okay. What the hell are they doing? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Okay. She's drunk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, damn, what the hell? Th that was what she was talking about. Penguin. That's penguin, isn't it? What the hell? Damn! <laughs> That's a smart penguin. It lives in a fridge? Pen pen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to censor <laughs> toothpick. Oh my god. I noticed that later on. Oh my god. Okay, that's funny. Mm. Bait thing is the laundry of life. Okay, I'll I remember that. Okay. Twenty days. Okay, so only Ray and um Shinji can do it. Little Chin's room. Oh. Replication. Hmm. Oh, they destroyed it? Wait, what? How? Like, <clears throat> okay, are you getting the flashback now? Like, what happened after that? Misato said something about, like, they destroyed it. How? Let's see. Oh, reversing. Oh no. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Is it moving on its own? Like the way it moved before? Oh, 
Oh. Because they were betting on this. Oh. AT field. I think that's some kind of a barrier. Oh, it reagent. What the? Eroding it. Wow. Oh, damn. Oh. Ooh. Is that the core or something? Like there's a ball within the angel. Damn. I'm guessing that's the core. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, what the? It's going to self-destruct? Oh my god. Too far. Okay, his dad was betting on this. He knew like something like this is going to happen. Like obviously he knew like Shinji cannot control it for the first time. Damn. What? Wait, what is that? Wait, what happened there? Okay, that's the end. Oh, okay, so in the end there like there was something that happened. I that was really weird kind of thing, like I did not get that, but I'm guessing that's like something we're going to like eventually reveal what the hell that actual was uh, actually was. So alright. Okay, uh so this episode was uh like in the beginning i thought like maybe like the angel like went away or something like in the previous episode episode one we saw how like shinji was beaten by this angel and then suddenly in the next episode we see him in a hospital and i thought maybe like uh like after beating him like that the angel like like ran away or something or like went away but turns out that was not the case the vangelion went berserk and I'm sure that uh, Shinji's dad was waiting for this. Okay, that's the end. Like, I'm sure, like, his dad was, like, betting on this. Like, obviously, like, uh, like he must have known that, uh, like, this is something extremely, like, simple. Like, Shinji didn't even know how to, like, walk in that uh, uh, Evangelion. So, obviously, um, when, if he is, like, he gets into the robot, and tries to fight with the angel he can do nothing like that's obvious and his dad even knows like knew that 
So his dad was also betting on this whole thing that uh, maybe the Vangelian would get like inj like injured very badly and it will like start w like walking and fighting on its own. It will go berserk. And that's what happened. And somehow Shinji was able to uh, like <coughs> Shinji was able to like survive because uh, the Evangelion started fighting on its own. So and also I'm guessing like uh, they, they were like mentioning that only two people like person can like two people can um, control the Evangelion. Number one is Ray, and uh, the other one is Shinji. And I'm guessing there is this synchronization rate that we saw. Uh, I think it it was 47 percent for Shinji, and they said something about that's extremely high or something. So I'm guessing uh, the synchronization thing, whatever they mentioned, was something which like uh, measured the affinity of the like uh, pilot and the Evangelion. So obviously, I think they never saw such a high synchronization rate. That means like Shinji was able to control it uh, or is compatible with the Evangelion a lot more than um, Ray. I'm guessing, and like this, like at 47 point, uh, like 47 percent, they said that the synchronization rate is extremely high. So that means um, it can even grow more which I'm guessing we'll get to see later on. Uh, I'm not sure if this rate increases or not, but if 47% if 47 is so like uh, rare, that means like imagine what will happen in 100%. <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm just guessing. I, like this is just my guess that uh, the synchronization rate was something uh, that like measures the compatibility with the pilot and the um, like Evangelion. I might be wrong like on basis of that I'm saying and that like if I'm wrong about that then uh, I don't know like yeah and okay and what else um okay and uh, in, in the end like something weird happened like I, just a sec let me just check that portion out again like I'm not sure what the actual Okay, we see that Shinji, like in the end, when uh, like uh, they say that that must be the real form of the Evangelion, and the Evangelion is like standing like that, we see Shinji kind of like extremely surprised, and then there is like a thing that comes into like like that we see on Shinji's uh, right hand side. It's a weird type of thing, like a robot, I'm guessing. And then there's like a thing that is falling down, a head, like a robot head I'm guessing. Yeah, that's the robot's head. And then Shinji <coughs> <coughs> looks to his right and he sees, I'm guessing that's the head that fell down and only the jaw is remaining on that robot. And there's like a, this weird kind of a thing and a eye pops out from out of nowhere and it looks to a Shinji, green eyed like there's this only only the jaw is left and there's this kind of a weird eye Shinji looks at it and something happens I don't know what the hell that was I'm guessing they're probably like uh, explain that later on because um, yeah like because that was weird <laughs> and okay and um obviously uh like his dad is i think his dad doesn't care about him because uh, as far as we can uh, like see it seemed as if his dad only wanted shinji for him to like control the robot that's it that was the only reason why he called him and shinji is pretty depressed about that and <clears throat> obviously they like like they won't be able to like live together because his like dad is like that and i'm not sure if this is like usually in a few animals i've seen like whenever there's like this kind of like parents who are uh like who do not have good relationship with the child or children usually it goes like 
in two ways number one way is like that is like how it is like they do not get along they do not get along that's it and that's all that happens and another way it usually goes is maybe the parents are not comfortable like showing their emotions towards their children like i've seen a lot of not only parents siblings as well for example i'm taking an example here for example uh, black clover uh, if you guys have not like like seen black clover this will count as a spoiler but i'm sure a lot like most of the people have seen it so this is count as a spoiler so for for a few uh, like uh, minutes i'm going to like spoil something in black clover that is nozel uh, the whole relationship of nozel and uh, like noel like <clears throat> Like that I'm talking about like he himself was not comfortable to like uh, like express his feelings and uh, like he was awkward and that's the reason why like uh, like he like uh, treated uh, Noel so like poorly and that was like just his awkwardness and like that's also how it goes in a lot of things in a lot, lot of like situations so uh, that might also be the case here i'm not sure it might go either way either the dad really doesn't like his son and like just called him for like piloting it either that or maybe his dad is like uh, loves his son but is unable to express that properly and this is the only way he can express it either two ways i'm not sure how this is going to go but that's the only two ways left and i still am not unable to say what it is actually the case but as far as this episode it feel, felt as if like his rad, dad really doesn't care because like like shinji could have even died in that situation and he was like smirking and smiling and i don't know i don't feel um like as uh, misato said that like uh, I was also treating Ray as a two. That's the same thing that his dad did. So I'm not sure how, um, like, why his dad is like this. We'll probably see. And and Misato took uh, Shinji in, which I think is good because obviously, like, um, like Shinji himself is extremely stressed out about this whole thing. He came into this new place. And his dad is pressuring him to like get into the pile, like get into the robot and pilot it, and go and kill angels, put his life on the line. And at the same time, he himself is like not comfortable with his dad, not talk comfortable talking with his dad. There has, must be some kind of episode that he had with his dad previously, which is why he does not like his dad, and his dad uh, doesn't care about him. I don't know, and all of this stress would have like accumulated even if, like if he like uh stayed alone that would have been worse so like this is a good thing that misato took him in because obviously um like, he is in a bad position like uh like he might become stressed out depressed and which might uh like further down the road which might interfere with his like piloting uh, which can even like cause like which can even kill him like if you are like uh, stressed out during a uh, like life and death situation that can like kill you almost like you might mess up so like it's good that Misato took him in <coughs> because at least uh, he uh, like after like living with someone he can at least like talk with her and like uh, like it's good like uh, having company it's good like uh, living alone is not uh, good at all so yeah it's good that he like misato took him in and what else was in this episode mm, nothing else that was it and uh, the uh, like uh, first portion of this episode was mostly like uh, pretty calm and cool like they showed us uh, some kind of meeting that was happening and there was like this higher up people who like was talking with Shinji's dad uh, asking him about uh, the whole situation and everything and stuff like that and 
then oh and then another weird thing happened like i'm not sure like shinji was like standing in this like hospital like outside and like ray like again on a stretcher ray was like being taken somewhere and they kind of like glanced at each other <coughs> i don't know that was kind of weird uh i'm not sure maybe ray is also in the same hospital admitted because of her injuries i'm guessing and yeah and uh that was it um and in the end like misato kind of like praised shinji which uh which was good because obviously uh after like doing such an amazing thing even though he himself was like didn't do anything uh the, like uh evangelion went berserk in itself but still he was inside he like uh he he was like um because of him that happened like he was uh, like the, all the credit goes to him so because of that like misato kind of praised him which was extremely like needed and especially for a child like him whose dad doesn't care about him so yeah uh, that was good and thankfully uh, it will keep his um like spirits up yeah okay guys that was it uh, that was this episode and um the first two episode um i have to say like it's an interesting um like start because interesting in the way that um the whole angel thing i was complete like extremely uh fascinated by because i was not expecting something like this like these huge kind of things which are called angels and uh, like creepy things and like obviously like i know this knew this was like a mecha um like mecha like uh, anime but i thought like maybe like uh, it will be like a fight between a mecha and a, another mecha like two robots are going to fight i was not expecting something like this and like this like completely came out of the blue so like that was something really like unique and uh and yeah the like, whole evangelion thing and i'm not sure if like the evangelion and there was like another unit they were talking about are, are these like the only few robots that they have or something and they said something about conventional weapons do not work on the angels and only the evangelion can like fight it so like is like is shinji the only one who can like shinji and rei the only people who can like fight the evangelion and if that is the case like what the hell will they do if like two or three angels uh, starts attacking in three different places like shinji cannot like go in like different places at the same time so i don't know we'll probably get those answers later on so and we don't even know what the hell the angels are where they come from why they come what's their objective and who knows so yeah anyways guys so that was the first two episodes of neon genesis evangelion and i'm quite intrigued about this whole story and yeah that was uh, like a good start and um uh yeah so anyways guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel haven't subscribed come uh, consider doing so comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out and uh, also keep in mind that i'll be doing evangelion like the reactions uh like every week uh two episodes uh, every week so be sure to like tune in in the next uh, week as well if you uh like want to uh, like <coughs> watch more of my reactions so yeah so yeah guys uh thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys on the next video next week of uh i'll bring i'll be like doing two more episodes of evangelion so see you then and um until then goodbye and have a nice day